What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Snap Walkthrough. Okay, so I guess our Pokemon Snap Walkthrough is doing a pretty good job. Managed to get a few good views, all that fun stuff. Hell, it even brought out a legend himself. That's right, guys. In the very first episode of Pokemon uh, Snap, a uh, a legend of a legendary YouTuber has finally come back and actually commented on one of my videos right here. And that guy is Light Dark Neutral. So I got I got to throw a shout out to him. Thank you for the inspiration of bringing me into YouTube. I'm glad you're back. And guys, go ahead and check out his channel. He didn't exactly recover his old uh, videos because, well, he deleted it and all that stuff. So he's back to a new channel. So make sure to subscribe to his channel. The link will be right there onto the description. Now, in our last episode, we actually went through the tunnel like about five times because we couldn't get things right. But now, we actually found a link. Not a link. An opening. Ah, pretty much a link. A link to the next uh, area right here. So, here it is. We have found ourselves the volcano. And it says right here, The boiling magma here makes the place very hot. I'm sweating already. Alright. Yes. Let's do this. Let's see what this is all about. And, wow. It, it looks hot. It looks cratery and all that stuff. And so far, we are looking at... Rapid ashes all over the place right here. And, yeah. We've already messed up on our... Uh, on our, uh... On our pictures right there. Look at that. Can't even do anything right. <laughs> Never mind. Well, it is a new place. I might as well just screw up for the first time and see what I can actually do the next time so actually I, I can actually get it better and all that crud. Now, I actually thought that you can actually evolve a... Uh, you, that you can actually evolve a Vulpix right here into the lava pool if you just throw them in. Kind of like what you do with Charmeleon. But... That didn't prove to be true. Again, in the first episode, I was actually telling you guys about, like, back in the day when Pokemon Snap came out, that, you know, a lot of rumors were coming out. That being that you can find some different Pokemon right here. Some of them that were not pretty much true, you know? That kind of stuff. Now, what I'm going to do right here is a little bit of a... Look at that. Charmeleon. Now, if we get them together right here... And, oh wow, I thought that was going to be a fight. Never mind. Oh, I messed it up. Okay. So right there, you can actually get a picture of a Charmeleon evolving. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to crash into this thing. And lure a boatload of Charma or Charmanders right now. Look at that. He is luring more Charmanders. Look at that. More Charmanders are on their way. Oh, yes. So this is going to be a very good picture right here. Now, how many Charmanders can you actually get? That is a question. So I'm just going to be throwing a few apples here and there. Just to make sure that these guys are getting fed and all that crud. Look at that. We're getting closer and closer. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at these Charmanders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing around right now, guys. Let's see. <laughs> okay, now I'm having so much fun with these guys. Anywho, let's throw this egg in, and well, as you can see, you're gonna be you're gonna be looking at a Moltres right here. Look at that, the first of one of or the first of three legendary birds. Now, if you see right here. Boom, you're going to actually find yourself with two Magmar fighting, and well, just make sure to look over right here, that way you can take a better picture of Moltres, and again, these flying type Pokemon are the, the ones that are the hardest to actually take a picture of, because they just go up and down and whatnot, and well, I was hoping for a Magikarp, but not really, and here we have Charmeleon, now I wonder how many points you can actually get when it comes to uh, evolving a Charmeleon. Or evolving a Charmander into a Charmeleon and stuff. So what I'm going to do right now, throw him in. He evolves into a big old Charizard. Now I didn't know that Charizards were that big right here. Now if you hit him with an apple, oh damn, bam. Here we go. Come on, throw another one. There we go. I think I took some very good pictures and it. 
There we go. I think I took some very good pictures, and as you can see, I only have four films left, so I was about to finish this game off before I could even get into the lab gate right here. So, here we are going back into the volcano course, and, well, I think it's time for me to actually use an album mark because more than likely, there's going to be some pictures here that I, you know, I probably should have picked, and, you know, that one's, that one's gorgeous, but this one... Oh, damn. This one's better. Okay, I, I should take this one. Let's see. We got Volpix right here, all happy. Okay, so maybe we should take uh, this one right here, where we're seeing a little bit of booty and a little bit of the side. And we got Charmander. Oh, wow. Such a crooked picture of Charmanders right here. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with... Uh, Let's go with this one right here because it's down the middle. And then we got Moltres. Now remember, if you take a picture of a Pokemon from their backside, they're n it's not going to be good points right there. So let's go right ahead and pick this one right here. And then we got Magmar Fighting. So we got to pick the best ones right here. So let's go with this one right here. And... Charm or Charmeleon is probably not going to be the best one because, of course, it's far away. And here we have Charizard throwing a flamethrower. And you know what? This is the best right here. So we've gotten everything. Let's go ahead and use the album mark right here for the Pokemon that, you know, I think were pretty cool. So let's see. Let's see. We should go back to this one right here. Let's go with that one. I like that picture. It's pretty awesome. And then Vulpix, let's go with that one. Now, if you choose the same picture with the that you're gonna show Professor Oak, it's still gonna show it. It's just you know, it, it's one thing or another right there. Now, let's see. Let's go with this one right here. And Moltres, let's go. Okay, hold on. I think wow, that was pretty bad right there. Okay, so let's go with this one right here. And Charmeleon, I'm gonna have to wait on that one. Let's go. Look at this one right here. I like this one. And what else? Maybe a flamethrower from the beginning. No. Look at that. He's looking all mean and everything, but I am going to choose that one. And is there anything else I want to choose? No, that's pretty much it. So let's go to Professor Oak and see what we got. See if we screwed up just a little bit right here. So what's new this time? Let's see. It's a Rapidash. The size is pretty good. The pose is good. Bam. Double the technique right there. So it's a pretty good score. And then uh, here we go. Backside. How is the technique? Pretty good. Double. Wow. There's other Vulpix. Booty shot. And it's a dang good score right there. And here we have Charmanders. Seven hundies. One thousand. And double for that. And there. Whoa. Other Charmanders. So we get an extra few points. So I think this is the best picture we have so far. And then we got Moltres right here. Look at that. Oh, what a wonderful pose. Bam. Okay, so we're getting some good scores right here. The best scores we've gotten. And then here we have, wow, isn't this Fighting Magmar? Special 800, 460, unstable. And wow, there are other Magmar in there. Yes, there are. And look at that. So it's not the best one, but it's still something. And here's the worst of the pictures that I've taken. Oh, yeah. So it should have been in the middle of the frame. And look at this. Charizard. 690. Ooh, what a flame. That's right. Okay, so it looks like to me that we got quite, quite, a, few, uh, quite a few good pictures. And after that, bam. Bam. We are going to go straight back to Professor Oak, and he's going to be like, Welcome back. You are doing a fine job, Draven. Go to uh, go to course, or choose go to course. Meaning, we are able to go to the next course. Now, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon report and see what we got right here. Our best shot is probably going to be in the volcano, and... Wow. It turns out that Charmander is the best one. It beats Ma Fighting Magmar by 20 points right here. So... Hmm. Probably should have taken a better picture of uh, Charm, of Charmant or of, of Magmar. So let's go ahead and see the uh, Pokemon report, and let's go ahead and rearrange them from score. And wow, the best scores so far come in the volcano. The majority come in the volcano. So wow, about three of them 
three of them hit the 4,000 mark. So that's that's a personal best right there, guys. That is a personal best. Now, since I put some uh, pictures at the in the Pokemon album, let's go ahead and check take a look at this. Now, we've never been here before. The limit is 60, so make sure to pick the right Pokemon pictures that you want. And here you have... Here you have the pictures that I've chosen. Now, you can actually comment it. You can actually name these or something like that. Back when I was a kid, I liked to take these pictures to the uh, to the Pokemon album and actually put their number and the Pokemon name. Because I was so into Pokemon, the whole Pokedex and all that stuff. And, you know, I kind of wanted a, a Pokedex of my own, but never could. Especially with the Pokemon handbook and whatnot. But... That's some childhood stuff that, you know, we'll talk a little bit more in, the, in, in greater detail next time when we go into the river. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Pokemon Snap. See you guys.